Good morning. In a far country lived a band of minstrels who travelled from town to town presenting music to make a living for themselves. They had not been doing very well at all. Times were hard. There was little money for the common folk to come and to hear the minstrels, even though their fee was very small. Attendance had been falling off. And early one evening, the troop met to discuss their plight. I see no reason for opening tonight, one said. To make things even worse, it started snowing. Who will venture out on a night like this? I agree, another disheartened singer said. Last night we performed for just a handful. Fewer will come tonight. Why not give back their meagre fees and cancel the concert? No one can expect us to go on when just a few are in the audience. How can anyone do his best for just so few? Then they turned to another sitting beside them. What do you think? The man appealed to was older than the others. He looked straight at his troop. I know you are discouraged. I am too. But we have a responsibility to those who might come. We will go on, and we will do the best job of which we are capable. It is not the fault of those who come that the others do not. They should not be punished with less than the best we can give. Heartened by his words, the minstrels went ahead with their show. They never performed better. When the show was over and the small audience gone, the old man called his troop to him. In his hand was a note handed to him by one of the audience just before the doors closed behind him. Listen to this, my friends. Something electrifying stopped them in their work. Slowly the old man read. Thank you for a brilliant performance. It was signed very simply, your king. Now, even though it may seem that we are laboring with very little reward or acknowledgement, remember this, our king is watching, our king risen and alive, dwelling in your heart and in mine, in your life and in mine. He is always watching. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you are indeed our King, risen and alive, giving us life, faith and hope in these days of lockdown and sometimes hardship, sometimes loneliness. Help us always to remember that you are with us and you are within us, watching and aiding us all day long and all night through. Thank you, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed?